G'day, I'm Scotty Lyons from The Hook and The Cook. And today I'm gonna to take you out and show you my simple methods in catching squid. So come on, let's get out there. Well, squid are a crazy creature from the sea. They're great fun to catch and we love eating them. I tell you what, they're one hell of a good bait. I want to take you out today and show you some simple ways that I target squid. Firstly, a squid jig tied directly to my main line. Now that we use this one in shallow reefs um, and just cast out and allow it to sink and then just slowly work it back to the boat with a lift of the rod tip and let it sink again. And that's quite deadly across shallow reefs. Another method that works really well across shallow reefs and you can also use it in deeper water is to set and forget. Um, and what I like about this is you put a squid jig under a bobby cork and you can change your depth. It's a running bobby cork. A little stopper knot at the top here. And what'll happen is the jig will just follow the bobby cork along and drift behind the boat and squid hook themselves. So this is a really effective method. So give that a try. A fantastic method to use in deep water is a simple paternoster rig. Okay, with a squid jig attached. Now if you're fishing deep reefs, anywhere from 10 meters or, or deeper, and vary the weight to suit. Drop your squid jig on your paternoster rig and drop that to the bottom. And as you drift across the deep reefs, just work your rod tip up and down. And you'll find this is very effective on squid. So give that a try. The gear that we're using today is a light thread line outfit, 4,000 reel and a two to four kilo rod. And you'll find that ideal for fishing for squid. So let's get out there and see if we can catch a few. <laughs> So how come you've chosen this spot, Scotty? Well, out behind us here, we've got a large reef yep. covered in kelp, and um, squid love it. They just hang, hang around this area. It's a good ambush point for them. They're pretty an aggressive predator, squid, yep. so it's definitely worth uh, having a shot across this area. Now, normally I'll quite often drift this reef, but today we've got a little nor nor'wester blowing, so I think we'll probably drift too quick. So I think quick. we anchor out, and yep. we can concentrate and pepper the area right around the boat. Okay. And work the jigs. I've put the float out, so hopefully, um, yeah, we might we might hook one on that. So how would you know if you've got a if the float's out there? How do you know if you've hooked a squid? Would it just come down? Yeah, you'll see the squid, the, the actual uh, float disappearing under the watering water and coming back up. A bit like that, right now, it's going under. Huh? Yeah, we've got one on here. The, best in, the most important thing, Paul, is when you're fighting a squid, is, is just keep your rod at a nice angle. Yep. And just keep that constant pressure on. And don't wind too fast because they are very soft and you can tear a tentacle off. Yep. So nice, nice slow pressure. Maintain a little bit of bend in the rod tip. Yep. And just slowly bring him. So bring what's the best the thing? Boat. Would you do I grab him or do I no, get I the think net? We'll grab the net. The net's just up the side there. Okay. okay. I'll just go and grab the net. Yeah. What I'll get you to do is just um, walk back towards the front of the boat for me. Yep. I'm going to bring him along the side of the boat. Yep. Make sure we get him in. Yep. Here he comes. No problem. We'll just keep the pressure on him. Um, what I want you to do, I'm going to turn just the squid away from the boat so we yeah. don't ink, ink ourselves. Yeah. Right, you're going to come behind him or just go under him yeah. and net him now. Okay, from this behind side. Behind him, yeah, that's good. And then I'll just relax. Keep him in the water, bounce the net a few times. Just shake him about and just get him to squirt his ink. There he goes. Go Beautiful. Again. Go again, just squirt him. Right, fantastic. Now then, Scotty, Thanks. an old Italian guy showed me how to do this. Now, uh, so they eat really well, the squid. We've really we've got to make sure that we don't, we put these guys straight out of their misery, okay? So we instantly dispatch them, they eat better, they don't stress. Yep. So all we do is basically, we just run our finger down the backbone here, and we just dispatch it like so. There you go. You see the different color he's oh, going? Yeah, straight away. Straight away. So it's the most humane way to do it. They don't give you any stress, um, hormones coming through the body, Superb, absolutely superb. Yeah, and when you're taking the like, like you're taking the jig out, yep. how do you get the jig? You know, how do you get it off? Well, the good thing about the jigs, out, the good thing about the jigs, and these little tackle boxes are fantastic for storing your jigs. Is they've got, as you can see, multiple hooks. There's no barbs on those hooks. Now it's very hard to hook a squid on a 
a standard fishing hook. Yep. So that's why we use these little uh, jigs. And the squid tends to get caught on those little barbs. Now, to get them out, you just reverse it out of the squid. Quite okay, simple. Okay, so you just tip it upside down. Yeah, tip them upside down. The white bobby cord might, might attract the squid. That's yeah, reflection. Yeah. Under, under, under. Squid on. Two beautiful squid. Three simple methods you can try. I'm going to hand them over to Paul now to prepare and cook. Can't wait, mate. Let's get into it.